Um, Negros Island is divided into two, the Oriental and the Occidental. Wow! Hello folks, it's me, Iwaw, your frustrated accent impersonator at your service. Um, I've always been captivated with a different accent I'm hearing watching movies. Uh, that is why I started learning some of it in the simple ways I could possibly do. That is why, starting today, we will be talking in English using different accent. Uh, just like the Ilongo English accent, the Filipino English accent, the neutral accent, the British accent, and I started learning the Indian accent as well. Um, it's quite a bit challenging because I'm not used to it, but let's give it a try. I'm currently living in Negros Occidental and I find it very sexy hearing uh, the accent of Bacolod Nun. So, by the way, I'm two hours away from Bacolod and Bacolod is considered as the city of smiles. Um, before learning their accent, we need to consider the following. Number one, in learning the accent, we need to listen first on how they talk. Let's watch this. Hello, good morning! Medyo mabigat talaga yung announcement namin ngayon. Pero, tatry namin na ipaalam sa inyo kung ano yung pinagdadaanan namin. Um... Number two, apply their accent in the English language. Oh, we will be using the Ilongo accent in English. Hope you'll find it fun and interesting as well. Let's begin. Um, Negros Island is divided into two, the Oriental and the Occidental. So the main language of Negros Oriental is Cebuano or Bisaya. In Negros Occidental, we call it um, Hiligaynon. It's a combination of Ilongo and Bisaya. So based on my own observation, the Cebuano-speaking people are good in conversing in English. Uh, comment down below if you agree with me. Uh, but in Occidental, the accent varies from city to city. And the accent that I am using right now is the accent of Bacolod Nun. Um, I'm not saying that they talk like this, uh, but I heard few of them um, talking this way. Uh, maybe right now I sound a bit Indian, hope I'm not. And um, if you drop by here in Negros Occidental, you need to visit uh, the different cities and you will find tourist spots that uh, will surely uh, captivate you. I like the Campus Tuhan, uh, the ruins in Salay City, uh, the beautiful beaches of Sipalay, uh, Don Salvador Benedicto, uh, we call it as the Little Baguio of Negros Occidental, and Soyak Eco Park in Sagay City, and more. And I know you will surely enjoy your trip here in Negros Occidental. Um, the people in Manila uh, find it very cute when they hear our accent. Um, they cannot identify if we are angry or not because the accent or the tone never change. Uh, it, it's a calm accent indeed. Uh, kahit sa Tagalog, ganito pa din ang accent, hindi nagbabago. That is why uh, nalalaman ng mga taga Manila that we are Ilonggo. Um, if you notice the accent is just rising and falling like the waves of the ocean and it seems like there is no period in the sentence. Uh, I hope you noticed that one while I am talking. Uh, comment down below and thumbs up if you find the accent sexy or funny. Uh, it became the identity of Bacolod of having this kind of accent uh, when they talk in Ilongo. Um, just try to imagine when a group of Ilongos fighting uh, I know you will think that they are just talking calmly. Um, how cool, right? Um, example, um, I'm applying for a job and use this accent. What would be the reaction of the interviewer? Uh, comment down below. Uh, what would be the reaction of the interviewer? Or do you think will I be hired? Um, maybe yes or maybe no. Uh, why is it uh, we need to learn English neutral accent? Uh, as a point of view, we need to learn it because uh, we are now living in the modern world and we also need to adjust and also to avoid being laughed at when we are talking to other people. Uh, but there is no wrong accent as long as you can converse in English, it's okay. Uh, is my accent contagious? Uh, I hope yes and you can also try this accent at home just for fun. Um, I like impersonating or copying accent because I want to expand my knowledge and by learning a specific accent, I am also learning their culture. Uh, if you notice, it seems like that 
um, the accent of Bacolod non or the Ilonggo accent is just like singing or when they are talking it's very called malumanay in Tagalog. Uh, if we will apply that accent in English, it's also very nice. It's a bit awkward for people to hear this accent. Uh, but if you will be used to it, uh, it's pretty much um, great. It's a good accent and it's a sexy accent, uh, should I say. And you will find it very interesting if you will use this accent, if you will visit here in Negros Occidental. I hope you find this uh, very interesting, funny, and hope uh, you will try this at home with your friends and those Ilonggo uh, people out there. Uh, I really like your accent. Your accent is not wrong. It's very, very good. And keep on doing that. It became your identity. It became our identity as Ilonggo, especially those um, people living in uh, Bacolod. Your accent is great. That's all folks. I hope you find it very interesting and funny as well. Um, I'm not used to uh, that accent because here in my location, I am located in Sagay City. We don't have that accent. Uh, or our accent somehow is a bit of Bisaya, which is strong. Uh, there's a, a bit um, punch to it. That is why they are telling us that we are somehow furious or we are just angry most of the time. So one of these days or in the next video, let's have the Bisaya accent um, so that you will identify the Ilongo accent from the Bisaya accent. So that will be for today. Thank you for dropping by my channel and please do consider subscribing in my channel if you're not yet connected with me. If you have any suggestions, comments, um, violent reaction, don't forget to comment down below. It's me again, iWow. Thank you for tuning in to iWow TV.